Tex Andrews for the Light Zone Project. Here's part three of our series on the Zone Mapper and Zone Finder. So in the last video, I promised that I would show you uh, the ways of using multiple zone mappers to continue to control your contrast. But before we go there, I thought I'd better talk about ways to tweak a single zone mapper without using multiple ones. And this goes back to the basic tool anatomy videos. Again, you should watch those. I'm not going to describe the entire uh, activities of the tool tabs, but we will start with the color selection tab. I'm just going to show you something here. Now, in this particular zone mapper, I set my black point and went all the way down. And you'll notice that it dragged all the very dark areas way down. Well, what if that was a little bit too much? Okay, so I'm going to take my luminosity slider here on the color selection tab. I'm going to move this up. I'm going to keep moving it until I see a change. There I'm starting to see a change. And now it's lightened up a great deal. Well, now it's lightened up a little bit too much. So remember, we can feather this thing. I'm going to grab the left-hand chunk of that arrow, and I'm going to drag the feathering down. And by, in so doing, I can individually control this little area right down here and anything that has similar values up here in the image pane, the image preview pane, and here in the image. So this is a way of using the color selection tabs luminosity bar to do some fine tuning of your image once you have already created the contrast you want in the zone finder. I'm going to move this back to where it was and you can see it darkens way up again. Now I'm going to move over to the tool settings tab and we are set to normal. Well you don't have to be in normal you can pick another one. Let's try multiply and look at that sky. The original then a zone mapper tool with multiply and look it's also popped up these the blue sky areas as well. Of course it's also made this super dark down here. Well we can adjust the tool opacity. Bring it down. So now we can do that and we can go back to the color selection tool tab move this up bring up some of these darker areas a little bit feather it change that control that in concert with the tool settings tab I'm going to return this back down go back to the tool settings tab of course multiply is not the only blend mode I could use something like overlay. There's a nice effect as well. You can drag the tool opacity slider down. And once again, we're getting great definition in this sky now. A lot of really subtle stuff. Uh, I hope you can see it in YouTube. If not, uh, try switching to a higher res. But there's a whole bunch of very subtle transitioning in the clouds that's starting to come up here. And this area down here is starting to get much better defined. You're starting to see these little rain shadows. It's just wonderful. You can also go to, say, hard light or soft light. Hard light's going to be have a similar effect. And using the tool opacity slider, once again, we can adjust that. So, you know, our original very bland. Now we've got a lot of drama. One zone mapper tool, just a few clicks, plus an adjustment to the tool settings tab. And as I showed with the color selection tab and the luminosity bar, you can further fine tune just a chunk of the image as you wish. In the next video, I'll start adding a region to our image.